Okay, the scientific method. The scientific method is all about using logic and reasoning to explain the natural world. It all starts with an idea. And you get that idea from observing the world. using your senses. You have five senses. You can see, you can smell, you can touch. Taste. Although we don't do that very much in science. And you can hear. Now, using your powers of observation leads to a question. What causes something that we see to happen in the natural world? Our next step would be to make a statement, a statement, a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a testable statement. It has to be testable. It can't be just a opinion and leave it at that. It has to be testable. That means it's measurable. And that hypothesis will need to be tested. We will use some sort of method where we change, we test only one and one only variable at a time. So we are testing. And we test that using a controlled experiment, meaning one variable at a time. And after we have tested a testable hypothesis, we need to look at our data and conclude what's going on based on what's actually there. So you got to use your brain and determine what's actually there as opposed to how you feel about it. So scientific method is all about observation, which leads you to question and form a testable hypothesis and control an experiment that you can then conclude about what's going on. Once you have tested your hypothesis, you need to go and find other people to test it too. And eventually, enough people will test the same hypothesis that the hypothesis becomes a theory. Theories are not opinions in any way. They are hypotheses that have been tested many, many, many times. As soon as it becomes a theory, it is describing something that we see in the natural world. But it does not become a law. A law is what the theory is describing. A law looks at the world and says, hey, everybody accepts that gravity works. Nobody is going to say that there are no, that gravity is not pulling you down towards the center of the earth. But you need to develop a theory of gravity in order to describe and understand the properties of gravity. So the majority of science is coming up with a hypothesis that is testable. If you prove and right, you give it to other people and those other people, they test the hypothesis and yay, I am testing. And if they test it and then more and more people test it, it can become a theory. But 
A theory never turns into a law. A theory just describes what a law is. A law is a universal truth. Universally accepted. The law of gravity. The law of superposition. The law of inertia. Thank you for watching. This has been Justin Higgins. Have a glorious day and be excellent to each other.